are thinking about. This is actually from a cohort of young people in my practice. 101 young people new to cross-sex hormones, all with gender dysphoria, all desiring to go on hormones. And all of them did, by the way, in a surprising turn of events. Right. This is other baseline data from the young people in my practice, and, and this is talking about um, sort of the other mental health things that are happening for people. So 30% of my sample had moderate to severe depression symptoms. Thought about suicide, 49, 51%, and attempted suicide over 30%, and a lot of drug use. I mean, it's LA, I'll give you that. Um, a lot of kids were sexually active, and then not an insignificant number, nine of my kids had actually done sex economy, sex work, or place to live, or something to eat. Um, I didn't actually um, show you in this, in this slide, but a lot of the young people in my practice experience homelessness, precarious housing, and they've been in foster care. Let's talk about a hot topic, gender confirmation surgeries in minors. Okay, this is something that's coming on the horizon. Probably your kids are all gonna ask you about it after our talk to Dr. Joe session, sorry. Um, so this idea that a 14 or 15 year old would want a vagina if they identified as a girl is really not that out there. It's actually pretty understandable. Surgery, chest surgery for trans guys as minors is critical and it's available. It's not nearly as difficult as genital reconstruction because it doesn't have anything to do with sterilization. The difficulty of genital surgery is that it is surgical sterilization and people get super worked up about that. And that is the barrier that we have to overcome. And I think we're going to. But chest surgery is not that. It actually is and it's a very easy, safe, relatively fast procedure that is absolutely life-saving. 